It's a bantamweight matchup between Rafael Asuncao and Marlon Marais. All right, now our tale of the tape for this bantamweight scrap. Asuncao is six years his senior. The rest of the numbers are nearly identical. Here's Bruce Buffer. Well, it has become the UFC's home away from home of sorts. We are live and underway here at Junes Arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Oh, man, with that right leg kick. Nice straight right lands. Just misses there with the left. to the body lands. Big, Big body shot, shot. To the body. Oh! Oh, he's landed some good shots here. Hard straight punch. Big Beautiful body, body shot. shot there, too. Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Excellent movement here on the ground. And again, look at that. Clinch. And there comes the separation now. Looking to avoid that left hand. That's a nice clean shot. He's got a beautiful leg kick. But Ice's overhand punch to the head doesn't get to the target. He telegraphed that one, and it gets blocked. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. Oh! He him. oh, he might be out. He's got him hurt here. Just out of range with the big right hand. And now starting to snap off that jab. Oh, well, you can't enter the pocket there unprotected. You got to figure out a way to get your guard up a little bit. Another kick lands to the head there. And let's see if he and his corner can make the proper adjustments defensively to avoid any further head kicks here in this fight. Showing good defense, covering up, stopping that ground and pound. Beautiful right hand. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Back up. And the kick lands. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Push kick there to the body. He's keeping his head protected here. Excellent blocking. Oh, nice jab by his sunset. There's the kick. One, two punch by Marais. These guys are swinging. Ooh. He's doing a real good job of landing those punches. A sunset gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. And here's a nice kick to the body that lands. And here's another kick to the body. And here's one more perfectly placed kick to the body. Big round. Second round here. That one hurt. But Isis lowered jaw now, Joe, started to show some signs of swelling. Oh, that punch will count. Landed flush. Just missed with the left there. Started to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Couldn't agree with you more. Big left hand there inside. What a wild exchange. We show you the total strikes. Sun Sao gets caught with that punch. Double underhooks, and they move out of the clinch. Oh! Trying to get a single, and he grabs a single. There we 
we go. No south position. Side control again. In the full mount. Oh, going for the arm bar now. That might be tight. He's got the arm locked in. Now it's deeper. This arm bar looks nasty. He might have to tap any second now. That's it. That's it. He'll do it. An excellent job in setting up the arm bar and getting a tap. Yeah, that is some high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu right there. Just the way he transitioned to secure the arm up against his body and ultimately forced the tap. High-level stuff out of that young man here tonight. And here's the end of the fight. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 12 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. So there he is, your winner by way of submission. And how good was that? I mean, you talk about maximizing a UFC showcase, and that's a great example of doing just that. You see him sharing a moment here with his coaches, his training partners, and you can be sure that with the hard work done and the hay in the barn, that these guys are going to...